So this will be really the next revolution in astrophysics. The SKA, the Square Kilometer Array, will be in fact the largest radio telescope ever built and will observe the emission of the radio signal from the celestial bodies. It will be located in two desert areas in Australia and in South Africa where no man-made instrument can interfere with the very weak radio signal sent by the celestial bodies. So in Australia, the array will consist of millions of dipole antenna that will operate at low frequencies. And in South Africa, the array will consist of thousands of 15 meter dishes that combined together will be equivalent to a single dish of one square kilometer. The two radio telescopes, or the two, the two arrays, will uh, provide us with the best radio images of the sky, of celestial bodies, ever taken so far. So the SKA is a fantastic machine for astrophysics, but it also has a number of technical challenges to solve, and we have the expertise here in Switzerland in general, and at EPFL in particular, to address these problems. So just in terms of data traffic, for example, to the communication between the antenna of the SKA will correspond to about 10 times the current worldwide internet traffic. And the range of astrophysical applications is huge, from the study of the early phase of the formation of the universe to the gas in uh, current day's galaxies, or even to the uh, propagation of gravitational waves through our Milky Way. In a way very complementary to what we can do with optical and infrared telescopes. And who knows, with the sensitivity, with the large collecting power of the SKA, we may even discover things we don't even expect or know about currently. Thank <laughs> you.